In this session, we are going to talk about transactions and transactions are at the heart of Bitcoin. Transactions are simply value transfer from one entity to another. So let's create a transaction module inside the core directory. Go inside core and create tx.py. Create our class tx. Define init function. It takes version as an input, transaction inputs as an input, and transaction outputs as an input, and log time. Let's assign these values. self.txins txins tx outs tx outs self dot log time okay so let's understand uh, what does these components mean version is simply the version number for example you have windows 8 and windows 10 both operating systems has different uh, functionalities similarly in bitcoins generally the transaction version is one but it, sometimes it can be version 2 it's just that in version 2 we have slightly different features than version 1 transaction inputs are what transactions we are using as an input to transfer money to somebody else so you should have received the money or coins from somebody else before spending them. Transaction outs are to whom you are sending the money. And lock time is uh, you are defining the lock time on the transaction. For example, if you have defined the lock time of 1000 uh, in the lock time. So that means that transaction cannot go inside the blockchain until block number 1001 is mined. And uh, let's define the transaction uh, input class here. Class TX in our init function. So transaction input takes previous transaction ID as an input, previous index as an input, script signature. So we need to prove our ownership before spending that transaction. Sequence number. Right now sequence number is disabled in Bitcoin and by default its value is set to maximum which is this number. So we are not using this feature or it is not being used in Bitcoin also. So let's assign these values self dot previous transaction. So this is where the transaction ID goes self dot previous index. previous index script dot signature so this is where our signature goes self dot sequence equals to sequence and then we will create our signature to prove the ownership. So let's go ahead and create the script class and then we'll modify our transaction input class a little bit. So create a class called a module called script dot by create class script define init function. It takes commands as an input, cmds, set it to none if in case nothing is passed to this. So if cmds is none, we will assign an empty list. Else self dot cmds equals to cmds. We'll go through script class in detail, but for now we are just preparing the skeleton for all the classes. Head back to transaction class. 
from blockchain dot backend dot co dot script import script let's modify our transaction input class here if script signature is none self dot script signature is create an instance of the script class else self dot script signature equals to script signature save it let's understand the transaction input components for example bob sent five bitcoins to Cody's alert and five bitcoins to joe and that transaction will have a very unique transaction id and this transaction id will go here for example Cody's alert decides to send two bitcoins to somebody else and since this is the index number that belongs to Cody's alert and this is where we have received the coins so we will define this index number here and now let's create next class transaction output class class tx out define init function and it takes amount as an input and script public key script public key let's assign these values self dot amount equals to amount self dot script public key equals to script public key amount is self-explanatory how many coins we are sending and script public key is to whom we are sending so this is where we'll define the public key inside the script public key all right 